So, so, seems you've been busy. Tracking down the man who killed your father, yes. Best of luck. He's killed most of my allies and intimidated the rest into silence. I'm no closer now than I was two years ago. I've seen him. What? When? Where can I find him? I'm not sure that's a good idea. He wants you dead, Elise. What? You want to protect me? I want to help you. The Brotherhood has resources, manpower. You cannot be serious. I don't trust the assassins. Do you trust me? I haven't changed that much, Elise. I'm still the same boy who who distracted the cook while you stole the jam. The same one who helped you over the wall into that dog-infested orchard. All right. Take me to your brotherhood. I'll hear the offer. Offer may be a bit strong. That? Bloody Templar. What's he doing? Really? They're a touch paranoid when it comes to security. Two right turns, 73 steps, then down a flight of stairs, a left and another right. Did I get all that? What the hell you done this time, Pisspot? The Templars have marked her for death. So you brought her here? The Brotherhood has resources, manpower. Shut up! Well, what have we here? My name is... For heaven's sake, take that blindfold off. Ridiculous. My name is Elise de la Serre. My father was Francois de la Serre, Grand Master of the Templar Order. I've come to ask for your help. Continue. Mirabeau. Must we rehash this debate again? We must, and we will, Master Kemar. If you cannot see the advantage in being owed a favor by Francois de Lasser's daughter, I despair for our future. Continue, Mademoiselle de Lasser. Oh, here we go. You are not men with whom I would normally parley, monsieur. But my father is dead, as are my allies within the Order. If I must turn to the assassins for my revenge, so be it. Parlay, my arse. This is a trick to make us lower our guard. I say we kill her, send her head back as a warning. Belek. Enough! Plainly, this discussion is better conducted in private. If you will excuse us, Mademoiselle Lasser. Certainly. Arno, perhaps you should accompany her. I am sure you two have much to talk about. Here, my friend. That went about as well as I expected. Give it time. Mirabeau will talk them around. Do you really think we'll find him? After all this time? His luck can't last forever. François Germain believed Lafreniere was... François Germain? Yes. Where is he? His shop's on Rue Saint-Antoine. Why? What the... Elise? 
Qu'est-ce qu'il leur prend What are you doing Wait for me that about? Honor. Francois Germain was my father's lieutenant. What? He was cast out of the order when I was a girl. Something about heretical notions or Jacques de Molay, I'm not entirely sure. But he should be dead. He died years ago. Did anyone tell him that? I would very much like to ask him a few questions. So would I. Upstairs. That's where his workshop was. Let's go. It might not even be the same Germain. Tall, grey hair, eyes two different colours. All right, perhaps it is the same Germain. Looks like no one's home. That was bracing. Just like that time in Marseille. Bit more blood this time around. There's nothing here. He must have known his bluff wouldn't hold up. So we've lost him again. Maybe not. Let's keep looking. Locked. Maybe we could do that. Well, now I know why this wasn't on the official tour. Oh, no. Look. It's him. The bastard killed my father. We have to tell Mirabeau as soon as... I'll take care of this. Meet me at Mirabeau's estate. Stay down! You see them? The windows, across the street. Watch out!
initiate. This is Bishop. Do you copy? Good bloody work out there. You found him. Francois Thomas Germain. Grandmaster of the Templars and a sage to boot. By our reckoning, that's the second sage to rise to the Templars' highest rank. A troubling trend. Until we know more about this Germain, stick with Arnaud. He might have outlived this Grandmaster, and that could lead us to his body. Bishop out. to fight.
clients bientôt. Elise? Monsieur Mirabeau? Elise? Elise? What is this? I found him like this. I didn't. Of course not. But I have to report this to the Council immediately. They'll know what to do. No! They don't trust me as it is. I'll be the suspect, first and last. You're right. Of course, you're right. What are we going to do? We find out what happened. A handkerchief. Ladies' handkerchief. So, we can count half the noble women of Paris as suspects, then? Maybe one of the staff will recognize it. What is that? It's the weapon that killed your father. That's a Templar badge of office. What's it doing here? Painting a picture. Poison. Let me see that. Aconite. Hard to detect unless you know what you're looking for. Popular with Templars, is it? With anyone who wants to get away with murder. But yes. Looks like he was expecting a visitor. Master Kema.
My friend. Hello. Ah, Monsieur Dorian. What can I do for you? Mirabeau is dead. Dead? Murdered. I knew this truce would come to a bad end. I'll have to summon the rest of the council to deal with this. Elise had nothing to do with it. I'll stake my life on that fact. Please, give me a little more time. I'll find the killer. Very well. You have until tomorrow morning. No later. Mirabeau was poisoned with aconite. Poison? Do I need to point out that that particular strain is a favorite of the Templars? You do not. Where might one acquire aconite in such strong concentrations? Any doctor could prescribe it in diluted form. I myself take a tincture of aconite from my heart. It's strictly regulated, of course, but I do know of an apothecary in Le Marais who's willing to overlook such petty legal matters. Thank you. Qu'est-ce qui a pu causer cette agitation I thought you might need some help. I think I can handle a lone druggist. Bonsoir. I wonder Shit. if you might end. Not again. Well played. Wait. Damn you, come back here. Slow down. Wait. I just have a few questions.
What are you talking about? You, you're with the other one, aren't you? The hooded man. Tell me about this other one. Who is he? I don't know. I never saw his face. Ah! He threatened to kill me if I didn't give him the poison. I didn't ask questions. Ah! I keep only a small quantity in stock. He took that straight away, but he told me where to drop off the second dose. Second dose? Here. That's all I know. I swear it. Go on, then. Think of this as a wonderful story to frighten your grandchildren with. Well? You were right. He gave our mysterious killer the poison. And he said the killer wore a hood like mine. Well, there are shades of grey in every good story. If we've been betrayed from within... That would explain why the killer tried to frame me. Here. This is where the apothecary delivered his wares. What are we waiting for? What do you hope to find here? This is where the apothecary says he delivered the poison. I'm hoping I can pick up a trail and follow it back to the source. Pick up a trail? Are you a bloodhound now? Something like that.
trail ends here. Are you sure? I'm sure. No. Wait here. Don't be ridiculous. I'm not letting you go in there alone. Elise. I have to do this myself. Please. I understand. You'd better come back to me. Be careful. Took you long enough, piss pot. Balek. Should have known it'd be you that find me. Only question is, what happens now? You poisoned Mirabeau. He poisoned us. Peace with the Templars is a fairy tale. And you're the only one who can save the Brotherhood? You think it's the first time this has happened? The first time that the assassins have been forced to purge their leadership? The first time that the Order has built itself back up from nothing to power. No. Masyaf, Monteregioni, the American colonies. It's all happened before. And we have risen anew, stronger than ever. But now, we've lost our purpose, Arno. We mired ourselves in politics and revolutions, but we're not a nation. We're an army. And in an army, making peace with the enemy is called treason. No, I'm not the only one that can save the Brotherhood. We can. Together. Alec. You know I can't do that. That's a pity. <laughs> Belek, please, come back to the council with me. We can resolve this like reasonable men. Reasonable men don't treat with Templar's boy. yourself. I can, Belek. I just...
seen Templars put entire villages to the sword just for the chance of killing one assassin. Tell me, in your vast experience, what have you seen? I've seen the Grand Master of the Templar Order take in a frightened orphan and raise him as his own son. Stay there. I should have left you to rot in the Bastille. Tell me, did you ever really believe in the creed? Or were you a Templar loving traitor from the start? It doesn't have to be this way, Belek. You're the one who's making it so. If you just see sense, we could take the brother into a height we've not seen in 200 years. Yes, killing everyone who disagrees with you is a brilliant way to start your rise from the ashes. Look out! So, now we see the heart of it. It's not Mirabeau that's poisoned your mind, it's her. She's the last piece of this god-fucked lunacy. Belek. You'll thank me for this. One day. better than this. Make it a clean kill. Thank you, my friend. Gotta get you back to that boy here in one piece. Don't we, piss pot? Drop this. Damned. So you're really going through with this? Your protege vouches for her. Don't you trust him? With my life, it's the girl I don't trust. Nothing I can say to convince you. I'm afraid not. Thought not. Chin. Chin. Deacon, I think Abstergo are still riled up about your job last month. Oh, you don't say. A 
Okay, the bridge is open. Go. You can't snoop around upstairs and see data without ruffling a few feathers, right? Well, we didn't just snoop, did we? We stole their data, destroyed their precursor samples, and uh, what else? Oh yeah, we melted a few of their servers. That'll do it. Here we go again, back inside a mess of broken code. This time, the portal is above you, a few hundred meters. You need to find a way out. I'll guide you as best I can.
your way out. Hurry! Thanks, Deacon. Let's try to keep these transfers to a minimum, okay? Hey, come off it. That's entirely up to your initiate, my friend. I'm not the one leaving so many digital footprints around Paris. You might confuse them for tiny doggy pants. Noted. We'll call you if we need you. <laughs> 